This is a PowerWorks connector. It's the off brand. It comes from this brand where you have 15, 30, and 45 amp crimping capability. The size we use most often for power transmission in projects is 18 gauge. The Anderson terminals are compatible with the 15 amp, 30 amp, and 45 amp crimped connectors. The smallest terminal can carry 15 amps, which is more than the rating for an 18 gauge wire. Strip eight millimeters of insulation off of your wire. Then twist it so that all the strands remain together. And you can slide it onto your terminal. You will see the conductor near the inside tip of the crimped region. If you strip too much, the conductor will protrude and cause an interference. Notice on the crimper you have 15, 30, and 45 markings. You want to use the proper die for your terminal. In this case, it's 15. Hold your connector with the tongue pointed down like that. And then you're gonna insert with that tongue resting on the floor of the die until it stops. Gently push the wire and make sure the conductor has remained all the way inserted and then go ahead and crimp. We're squeezing on the back end here. Then release and it will release all the way and this should slide out freely. Use the red or black housing and then find the metal tab resting inside and point that to the floor and then take your tongue of your connector and also point that down and then gently slide it in as far as it will go. Insertion is easy if both of these are oriented flat. This tool comes with the Anderson connector kit. You can use it to push behind the metal and give a nice force. Anchor your housing, insert the wire, and then push behind the wire to cause it to click. And you wanna hear that click, and then you wanna do the tug test to make sure. And you can look inside as well. You will see that the tab is present, sitting on top of the metal spring. If you make a mistake, you can use this tool Point it down, lift the aluminum or nickel up off of the spring. Now you can see the two pieces. Push back just a little bit and you can remove it. Well, yeah. The Anderson kits sometimes come with bonded pairs where these are glued permanently. They also come with these pins, which can be used to fasten the two housings together. The way we keep them uh, coordinated is when you're reading the letters, see here, when you can read the A, red is on the right. So if you bond yours in the same way, it's gonna look like dovetails, female, male and female come together by sliding. Then that hole will line up then you can take your pin and set it you in use there. Use pliers to push these in, but I made a tool out of an old pin. I like to feed that in, then I have control of it, anchor it, and push down. You will notice that it spreads these two housings apart a you little have bit. One pair with a pin and one pair without. It will take some finagling to make it click it together. Also comes with some of these pins, which you can use if your pairs have no pins in them to go ahead and insert it. And that will keep your assembly together. Okay, that's all you need to know to use the Anderson or PowerWorks crimper and connectors. Don't forget to use the right size crimp uh, and the right size terminal for your application. I hope that's helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.